Hey everyone, Lensmanoz, Manx, and Dragon here today. No Jay Morella because her machine still can't see the moon or the space station or any of that sort of stuff, so uh, just us three and we think well I, th I think I've come to the decision that this this will be the last episode on this pack. Um, it is getting awfully laggy and there's obviously there's not a heap I mean there's still a bunch of stuff to do but there's not a heap of um, quests that that the kids are I guess really interested in it would be the way of saying it um, yeah it's, it's now at that point where it's not really that 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 big of an issue um, so I've, I've just been mucking around a little bit with quarrying and and that sort of deal I um I set up a oh I suppose um yeah Manx can't speak because he's uh still haven't got him a new headset and his his tablet that he was using um it's flat um so it's just Dragon and I on 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 voice today he's gonna be through the text though yeah he may type in the uh in the process of the episode. So it's just sort of mucking around here and deciding. You can see how much stuff's in the ender chest at the moment. Um, this I did really only to try and pick up liquids. I was just sort of mucking around with some stuff. Wouldn't mind whacking the tesseract over here as well, but at the moment, um, yeah, this is this is just me playing around a little bit. Uh, you should have got your wings. He should have got his wings as um, a reward there, Dragon, so can you turn to him and let him know that? So you can see how laggy the base has become. Uh, probably mainly because we jammed everything in the one area. You can hear everything going off downstairs, all the machines running. And I can show you all the... Um, you see all the items coming in from the quarries. It's pretty, um, pretty full on going through here. I'll head downstairs. So what I thought we'd do in this episode is one, I'll show you the bits and pieces that I did do in between episodes. <coughs> um, so I hooked up the the fluid terminal that Dragon made. I made a couple of drives, 16k fluid drives. I think there is actually a quest there to make a 64k fluid drive. Um, got an interface happening here and that ender tank that I just put down uh, on that quarry connects up to this one here which just has a transfer node on it to pull the liquids out. Um, kind of hoping that the first thing that gets pulled out is lava. Not sure if it's going to be. Uh, because there's also, there you go, look at that, <laughs> that was timing. Um, there's also the quarry running, uh, it's a, a quarry plus running in the nether. Um, so it's pulling all sorts of stuff in. And I've got this deep storage unit here, has netherrack. 72,000 netherrack in there so far. And I've set up a trash can with a logistics chassis on it that has a terminus module. So pretty much anything in this list, so we've got netherrack, gravel, cobble, dirt, quarried stone, andesite, limestone, marble and diorite. Uh, if it has nowhere else to go, it will go in here. Um, so I'm hoping that it doesn't completely fill everything else first, but the idea is that once this is full, it should go in the bin. It's just a standard trash can. So you can see all the items coming in. There's plenty plenty moving through this network, which is, a, an, again, why it's a bit laggy here now. Um, I could go and turn off the, the quarry. Um, but I don't know, I like leaving big holes in, in the landscape. So, looks like um, getting a lot of... One of the things that was coming through was a lot of ash. About 3,000 ash here. So I set up a crafting pipe here because one of the things that obviously the ash makes is coal. 
So whenever I um, get too much ash, I can actually come here and like order coal, and it'll deposit straight into this cache. Um, I was going to automate it, but I decided not to. Just thought, why not? Just let it go. I don't know what these chunks of flesh are useful for. Probably not much at all. In fact, I might just duck over. I was just mucking around with Quarries Plus. We'll duck over to the owl, to the nether. And we'll turn that off. Nether will probably be a little bit... Um, a little bit nicer for us, so we'll teleport up to the quarry. Again, just a quarry plus and a pump plus. So, so it hasn't even finished making the quarry, it's still levelling the area off. A little bit of lava here and a fair bit of the, the mimashite ore. So it's a big area, it's a full size quarry plus. These bass holes. I want, don't need a big one. Hey fellas, how you doing? No, I was hoping I could anger the pigmen enough to go and shoot them. Yeah. So yeah, you can see I'm I was gonna do a huge quarry here. Um but obviously that's just really just for giggles. Get a bit of soul sand. Get a bit of um Ah! Few, few mobs over here hiding in the corners. Go away! So yeah, nothing amazing, just something different. So I'm going to turn that quarry off. Let's just race over here. Bit quicker if I teleport to the quarry. Maybe. <laughs> uh, easiest way to turn that off is probably just to disable the power. Yep, that'll do it. So we'll duck back to the portal. Head back to the overworld. Wonder if my. Uh... You still hear me, dragon? Yep. Is he making arrowheads? Is he making arrowheads? So Dragon's currently getting a, a weapon because we're going to go and fight the moon boss. Um, just because. May as well do it before we finish up the series. thought while I was here I'll check the uh, quarry out. You can see I removed that ender quarry that I just put over in the overworld. Is the one that was sitting here in the mining age. Um, and I've just moved it so that that's this is why that chest is so full because pretty much um, this is pumping straight in instead of before it was using a um, uh, a transfer node which was a fair bit slower than obviously direct import so it's working I don't know what the filler mode is it's obviously just fills the line Instead of mining it, which is interesting. Uh, but yeah, you can see that the quarry's going quite well. We've got materials for days. Never need to worry about another material. Block up in the sky, aren't they? Must have been a slime island. Alright, so yeah, Dragon and I are going to go and fight the moon boss. And I better check my air supply before I go. What's your air supply like, Drag? It's two small tanks. I got two heavies. 
Are there any mediums around? Not that I know of. Hey, how much air have you got? Are they full or? They're full? There's a medium in this tank, in this chest if you want to go and fill it up. Take a couple of spares okay. with you maybe. Can you finish my arrowheads? Where are they? Upstairs. Tinkers. Yep. You should could have just turned the um lever on. How many do you need? You should only need one. What do you mean? You only need one. Why? Because that's how it works. So you once you make one, it comes in a as a, a as a unit. I uh, probably got too much stuff in here to be able to do anything at the moment. There it goes. There's your iron. So Tinker's arrows, when you make one, you'll get a bunch. So okay. we'll finish off your iron arrowhead here, but I would have made them out of a null one. This one. And then you probably want to get tool rod, I think it is. Make it out of the same thing. And then the better one is slime fletchings, I think. Okay. So have you got them done or? No. So you want some slime leaves. Is this your bow in here? Yep. Do we have slime leaves somewhere? Haven't looked yet. We'll have a look in these chests here. Otherwise, I think there's a slime island right nearby, isn't there? Take some shears yep, up. Yep, but um, it has no trees left. Oh, did, oh, we planted some there, didn't we? Plant some already. Yeah, kind of. Hmm. Just check the chests inside. See if there's a um, some slime leaves because they're the best ones. I've got slaplings, green slime, purple slime, gelatinous slime, and slime. Um, one of the saplings will do. You can plant it and bone meal it. Okay. And then, um, as I said, hit it with some shears. Oh yeah, the other thing that I did uh, in between episodes... When I made the the suit, it um, didn't actually count because I made it in the other table. So I went through this one here, craft the tinker table, create the armor, and make some batteries. And we'll get a couple of items for that. So that's the whole of the first questing thing done. Uh, this one we can't really do until we get to the moon. And we got this one, which is go to the moon get some meteoric iron and can't seem to find any meteoric iron um, and the next one was to kill the skeleton boss so I think I kind of need to make a dimensional anchor so let's oh, type in here make one of these Get rid of the flower and the this and that. Snowball. Got a good reward bag. So, um, how are you going with that slime? Did you get anywhere, Dragon? Not yet. Is there any in the system? I'll just take a sapling. No. Yeah, that was a sapling. I'm trying to make it grow up. Bone meal? Exactly. Oh. Where is it? Upstairs? Yep. Outside somewhere? Oh yeah, I see them. Get some shears. Wow. Maybe it doesn't want to grow here. <laughs> sure, you can. 
Should be able to plant it anywhere. It's obviously uh, Jamarella had planted some over here. Guess only grow when they want to. Well, let's have a quick look on the map. See if we've got a slime island around here with some trees on it. Just the one nearby. Oh, hang on, there's one over here. So I'll, I'll cut the camera here. I'll duck over and get some slime leaves. And when we come back, we'll go and fight this boss, eh? Back in a tick. Alright, so we've made bows. And I think I remember someone talking, uh, leaving a message about those pressure plates not working when you come back from the moon. So that's interesting. Works for everyone else but me. So apparently we're going to go and fight the boss. I hope Buddy has oxygen tanks. Uh, I made myself a new bow. He does. Um, just made it out of plastic um, bow limbs and a manalan middle plate and a string. Put a little bit of haste on it so it's a little bit better. Let's go. Um, let's just go and check... Because obviously the quest is to get meteoric iron. I put a I put the dimensional anchor up here, hoping that perhaps we would get some. It doesn't seem to uh, want to generate any here. Or is that some over there? All right, we got some. Here's one. One. I think the quest is oh, 10. Yay, we got one. <laughs> Everyone watch your, watch your oxygen. So what I don't want to do is just continue through and um, have it not count. It's not a big issue, I guess. It's going to, as I said before, Gonna be the last, um, probably the last episode from the pack. So over here, and we'll go and defeat this boss. So pretty much down where we were. It's all quiet up here because of the. The whole moon thing. Too much junk in my inventory. Get out. Alright. Where is he? Is he coming? Yeah, it's taking him a bit. Alright, we're going this way. Go! Check for the creeper. Get in and get the spawners quick. Just don't blow up. Okay. There's a spawner there. Break the spawners. Got him? Jeez, they're quick. I remove spider webs. Yeah, I'm glad there's no PvP in here. <laughs> Otherwise, we'd all be dead. We'd be nailing each other. It's coming. Just go straight to the corners of the room. Getting rid of spiderwebs so some, no one gets stuck. Well, it doesn't matter about getting stuck. Just get the spawners. Then deal with the creatures. Got him? Let's go. Okay, no spawners in here. What's in the chest? Some junk. I'll send it back to base. There's iron bars. Yeah, that's the room for the fight. So we'll just get rid of this stuff. Anyone need to eat? Meat. Did you bring anything? Yep. 
always have food on me. I'm not sure what I can order up from the uh, from the system at home. Steak and chips sounds good. All right, whenever you're ready to go, go for it. Oh, he's going to throw me into the lava. <laughs> oh, that was too easy. Too easy, he's dead. What was that noise? Him dying. Did you get it all, mate? Get everything? No, Sh it's the screaming beforehand. Me hitting him. Did you get the key? Or did I get it? Oh, he got the key? Excellent. Uh, through here there should be another chest then. With a lock on it. This one here. Can I open it up? Just right click it with the key. That's it. Here we got the schematics. I'll take the so what we need, we'll I'll send it all back to base via my ender ender pouch. That was one of the quests was to get that. NASA workbench schematic tier four rocket. Awesome. Alright, well, that's pretty much um all there is to do on the moon. I think there's a few more um there are a few more bits and pieces in regards to different bosses you can get different things from different bosses but that was one of the one of the rewards yeah see kill the skeleton boss didn't count because we hadn't unlocked the previous one we got the NASA workbench schematic and I guess we could build a tier 4 rocket now what does it say Unlock tier 4 rocket, you'll be unable to craft this tier of rocket until you've been to the asteroids. So make a tier 2 rocket. I guess you then need to we find... We can't break it! No, you can't break it. Right. No, it's not harvestable. Alright. Um. Okay, I might just cut here. You guys can continue hitting that thing. I'll cut here for a minute and I'll be right back. Alright, so we're back in the overworld. We um we did look around for a bit to try and find another um another boss and we weren't able to find one. So pretty much we are gonna wrap up the series here. Uh, not gonna destroy the world or anything, I guess, you know, as as I said with the modular mayhem one, we may come back and revisit it. Um see how things play out. Um you know, the world's still pretty cool. I mean, it is a little bit laggy in the base here, but there's nothing saying we couldn't move elsewhere and just leave this little bit chunk loaded and let it do all the ore processing and move to another area. But um, I think the kids are starting to get a little bit bored. The, um, yep. So it's time to start a new pack, and that pack is going to be Worldly Galaxies um, by Aurora Games MC. Um, which is another HQM pack, but it's got a it's got a bunch of little cool things which uh, Jay Morell is really looking forward to. Uh, one of which is Minecraft comes alive, um, which allows you to have families and stuff like that. So that's just something a little bit different. Um, also going to have things like morph. Um, it's going to have chance cubes like my uh, pickle pack does. Uh, metallurgy. Uh, it's got the latest version of Mechanism and a bunch of other stuff that uh, this pack doesn't have. What have we got? Uh, Silence Gems, that was in the Modular Mayhem pack. So I'm just looking through the uh, the list at the moment. So yeah, it's got a lot of stuff. Um, hopefully the kids will uh, enjoy playing that. We've got to get it all installed on their machines. But Max is currently my eye dog. He's your what? My screen froze, but my character's still moving. 
so you're just sort of standing there and, and seeing where you're standing all right so i guess same thing coming back from my from the other land it uh, hasn't worked quite well so that's no good all right so from us this will be the last of this episode and we hope you catch up with us next week when we start the brand new series with worldly galaxies so I guess Yay. it's bye from us. Say goodbye, kids. Bye. <laughs> and as always, leave your comments in the section below and hope to catch you next week. See you later.